Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting fly fishing video. Doing some fly fishing for big tiger trout. We're not going for numbers today. We're going for one or two big fish and we are going to fish for some brook trout along the way, you know, to keep us entertained. But yeah, we're going to really put our fly fishing skills to the test today because these are some smart fish. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can catch a couple of them. Stay tuned. Here we are at the first spot we're going to try. There's no big fish in here, but there's a lot of small brookies. Let's give it a cast. All right, so I just got this little green, olive green woolly bugger. We're going to throw down there, see if we can get something to come out and chase it from this moss. We'll see. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish looking at it. Little Brookie's looking at it. He's still circling it down there. Hey, little guy, turn around. Ah, uh, he spooked off. Oh, here he comes. Here's one. That's a little guy. Got him. Got him. <laughs> this is far smaller than the one I saw just a little bit ago. He's still down there, but this little guy just came up and wanted it. Well, that's the first fish of the day. We are on the board. We're getting the skunk out of the boat. There we go, brookie on the fly. Just a little squirt. We'll get him back. All right, see ya. All right, let's get back down there. Oh, there's a nice one right there. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. There we go. That's a good fish, that's a better fish. Still not a big one. Come here, I gotta reach over this log. Scoop him up. Nice, another brook trout. That is a better size one for this pond. I let my woolly bugger sink all the way to the bottom in the moss, and that's where this guy was sitting. He came out and slurped it right up. That is a beautiful brook trout. Perfect cooking size, but I think today at least we're gonna do all catch and release. Another solid little brookie from this pond. Cool, cool, great way to start the adventure. Oh, see you later. Got him, got him. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I was using because I actually broke off that woolly bugger on that log. So I switched to something totally different. And that guy came out and bolted straight for it. He wanted it. Got him. Another little brook trout. I actually got that guy on a little nymph. I don't know exactly what it is, but if I had to throw a guess out there, pheasant tail nymph, he came out and just clobbered it. Another nice little brook trout. We'll just toss him back. Yeah, so that's the fly it was. Not sure exactly what it is, but it worked, man. Let's see if there's another one down there, because this is the spot where I saw two of them come out from underneath just the side right here. They're just tucked up underneath the bank. Oh, 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 shoot. He went over to it. He swiped at it a couple times. I thought he had it. Oh, he's coming back to it. Oh, got him. Got him that time. Get out of there, get out of the moss. Little itty bitty brookie. Another one on the nymph, number four from this pond. I've caught most of the fish I've seen, so that's pretty good. We'll just pop this guy off real quick. Barely skin hooked in the nose. We'll just twist him off. There he goes. There's one. Oh, got him, got him. That was not even the one I saw. Two of them came out. This is the bigger one. No, he popped off. He popped off. Shoot! That looked like it could have been the biggest one of the day. Oh, 
Oh, he's in pursuit. He's in pursuit. Got him. There we go. There we go. That's not a bad size one for this little pond. Whew. Got him. Trying to keep our balance on this log. It's a little bit sketchy. What is this, number five? And then we've missed like four others. Cool, cool. Oh, tiny little brook. <laughs> tiny. Holy crap. Smallest fish so far today. Came out from under that moss just out of nowhere. Micro brook trout fishing. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, see you later. All right, folks, well, we're moving on from this pond. Caught a lot of brook trout. But now we're gonna head to a different spot, see if we can catch some bigger fish. All right, here we are. Spot number two, full of tiger trout. And there are some quite big fish in here as well, so let's try it out. All right, so as I'm walking up here, I can already see a few big tiger trout right here close to shore. So I'm gonna keep throwing that little nymph I was using back at that brook trout pond. No indicator, we're just gonna toss it down there and hopefully one of them's hungry because there are some big old fish down there. In fact, I'm gonna get down on my knees. Oh, one just jumped, did you guys see that? Okay, fly is in the water. Oh, one's going over to it, one's going over to it. Oh, he turned on it, he turned on it. What the heck? Well, there was a look on our first cast, that's pretty good. Big old tiger just bit it. I thought I had him. He came over, opened his mouth, and kind of nibbled at it. And I just set the hook, but I guess he didn't. Dang it, dude. There was the first bite of the day. Got him. There we go, folks. First fish from this pond. First little tiger trout of the day. I'll show you what I got him on because it's actually been a long time of just throwing nothing but stuff they don't want. So not the size we're after, but it's a start. Little tiger trout. I actually got him on a balanced leech, olive green. And I just saw this little guy sitting up here. This is the smallest fish I've seen. And of course, this is the one that I catch. Just got him right there in the tip of the nose. There we go, that's what got him, finally. All right, see you later, little guy. Just give him a little toss back in. In about a year or two, he's gonna be twice that big. So yeah, anyway, I've been fishing this pond for about an hour and a half, and I've seen lots and lots of big fish swimming around. And I've thrown a couple different nymphs, a micro black leech, and then right as soon as I tie the olive green balanced leech on, we get a fish. Many hours later. Got him, got him. There we go, fish on, fish on, fish on. Finally, dude, beautiful tiger. No, he popped off. He's, he's just sitting right there. You 
You've got to be freaking kidding me. Dude, I've been fishing for three hours and I have caught one tiny little fish. <sighs> got to be kidding me, dude. He was sitting underneath this log and I could see him. So I had this green balance leech back on, tossed it right next to him. And he turned around and then ate it right up. And I guess I set the hook too early or... <sighs> Man, dude, that really hurts. That was a beautiful fish. That was a pretty big one, too. Got him, got him, got him. That's a giant, that's a giant. That's a giant, that's a giant. Oh, five minutes after we lose that other one. Oh my goodness, he ate the leech. He ate the leech. Yes, this is a big fish and this is light line. I'm not gonna horse him in. I'm just gonna let him tire out for a second. Yes. Oh, I cannot lose this fish, dude. I have been here too long. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. And he's so close. Got him. Yes, dude. Yes, got him. Dude, I've been fishing for over three hours. And I've had so many fish just look at my flies and deny them. Five minutes after I lose that fish, we get this guy. And that is a gorgeous fish. Look at that. Pinned him right there in the nose with that green balance leech. There we go. That is what we've been searching for all day long. I've seen about a hundred of them, but these are some of the smartest, smartest fish I've ever fished for. But we finally got one. And that is a beautiful, beautiful colored up tiger trout. Holy cow. <sighs> All right, folks, there we go. We've kept him in the water while we've gotten pictures and video. So we should be all healthy and ready to go. Get one last look at him. There we go, beautiful tiger trout. We'll send him back. Oh yeah, he is ready. He is ready. There he goes. He goes right back down to the bottom. You can still see him. There he goes, hiding under that log. If that's the only fish we get today, I'll be happy with it, because that was a stud. But we're gonna keep fishing, see if we can get a bigger one. Got him. Got him. Got him. On the balance leech. Again. The beautiful tiger trout. I was just about to head out of here. I'm not even kidding. Yes. Yes. I was literally about to call it for the day. Get over here. Got him. Yes. <laughs> Check it out. Fish number two, or fish number three actually. Second good one of the day. Oh my goodness, you guys. That last fish I caught was like an hour and a half to two hours ago. I don't even know, that's how slow it's been. Right in the nose with that green balance leech in the same spot. I've actually been walking around the entire pond fishing for the last hour. And right when I come back to this spot, I get another fish, so this might just be a good spot. That is what this is all about beautiful tiger trout stomping through trees and thorn bushes and 90 degree weather for these fish right here. Third fish of the day, not quite as big as that other one we caught, but it is almost. This one might be prettier though. I mean, look at those patterns, super dark colors. I've been fishing for seven hours just to catch a couple of these fish and it is worth it, let me tell you. Holy cow. All right, let him go. There he goes. I say we end it on that. Well, folks, there you have it. I have been fishing since eight o'clock this morning. It is now 4.30, so needless to say, I am extremely tired, but really grateful we caught those fish. Some of the most beautiful tiger trout 
or fish in general I've ever caught. So, so I couldn't be happier, it was a great day. But the video's not over. Tomorrow we're gonna head to a different lake, maybe go for some brook trout, I don't know. And we'll do a little catch and cook. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, folks, well, it is a new day. Those last clips you just saw were from a couple days ago catching those tiger trout. And today we're switching it up. We're at a completely different spot. And we're going for some brook trout with my spinning rod. And instead of throwing flies today or jigs or anything like that, I think I'm gonna drown some worms because I've got some worms that I still need to use from a while back. And I just wanna get rid of them before they go bad. And I'm getting hungry too, so I wanna do a little catch and cook. Yeah, I don't know how long we're gonna stay out here because the mosquitoes are horrible. In fact, a couple days ago, those last clips you just saw, I got eaten alive by mosquitoes and sunburned. So I've got like a thousand mosquito bites on my arms. It has not been fun and they're just as bad today. Hopefully we can catch some fish quick. But I got some worms right here. They're still alive. They're starting to look a little soft. So we're gonna definitely use them up here. And I've just got a little J hook. We're just gonna throw the entire worm on. Really entice these fish to bite. Give them a good meal. All right, there we go. Looks juicy. Let's catch some dinner. So we're just gonna toss this worm right around these fallen logs because, you know, if I know anything about brook trout, they're gonna be right up here on shore hiding under them. So we're just gonna give it a little flip. One just jumped right over there. And I've got no additional weight I'm just gonna let it slowly and naturally sink down and hopefully there's some fish in the area. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish swiping at my worm. Come and get it, buddy. He swiped at it a few times. I can't believe he didn't eat it. It's a real worm, dude. One's got it, one's got it. Got him, fish on, fish on. First one, kind of surprised it took that long, <laughs> but we got one. We have dinner, get out of there. Ooh, that's a good keeper, that's a good keeper. I'm just gonna flip him right over here. There we go. <laughs> that is a perfect size to cook up. We're gonna fillet him. Oh, he just broke my hook off. Hold on, bud. Hold on, hold on. There we go. We're gonna fillet this guy, cook him in some butter. It is gonna be good. That is a good size fish too for this pond. All right, just killed this guy. He is dead. We're not gonna fillet him up quite yet. I wanna get cooking because I want some fresh fish, but we're gonna toss back in, see if we can catch any more. I'll probably just let him go. So we'll just set this guy right there for now and see what else we can catch. Go ahead and get a new worm, since that guy ate the entire thing. I'm glad he at least got one good final meal, you know? All right, then I'm just gonna toss it right back in that same spot. I mean, I would think there'd be another one hanging out with him. Probably had a friend. Just ride along this beaver down here. There's a bite, there's a bite. Got him, fish on. Number two, same spot. I knew there'd be another one down there. This one is a little smaller. Still a good fish. We're gonna let him go, assuming he didn't swallow it. That's one downside about using worms is, you know, sometimes they just swallow it and you gotta keep them. That is a fat little fish, check it out. Thankfully he didn't swallow it. He's just hooked right there in the corner of the mouth. That is a chunky little fish, nice and fat. We'll get him back quick here. All right, little guy, thank you for biting. All right, toss them back. See you later. Oh, there's a fish. I didn't even know I had one on. Oh shoot, he's already getting me snagged. Are you serious? Oh, are you kidding me? No. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. There we go. Almost got me tangled. Almost lost him there. I didn't even know I had a fish because my line, it didn't move, you know? 
he didn't take it out. He must have just stayed in one spot. I just lifted up and he was on. All right, there we go. Thankfully, he wasn't hooked too bad. Another nice one. There he goes. You know, usually I'm not a fan of using worms, but it is kind of nice to just throw some bait out there and just wait, you know? You don't have to do anything special. You just kind of throw it out there, and if there's a fish in the area, chances are it's going to slurp that worm up in a second, so. There's a fish. Oh, dang it. Pulled it right out of his mouth. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Tiny little guy. Tiny little guy. Wee. Ah. Yeah. There we go. What is that, number four? Nice fish. Cute little brookie. Again, he didn't swallow it. Thank goodness. Oh, oh. And there he goes. All right. We are very quickly going through our worms. I mean, if I wanted to, I could make them last much longer, but I figure, you know, why not just give these fish a full worm, give them a good meal. If I'm gonna catch them, I mean, that's the least I can do, right? Oh, no, I think he picked it up again. Yep. Yep, make sure he's got it. Do I got, nope. Dang it. There we go. Fish on, fish on. Doesn't feel like a bad one. Pulling a little bit of drag. Yeah, no, this is a good fish. Holy cow. I mean, he's not huge, but he's fighting. Unless I hooked him in the side or something. There's no way I did. Get out of there. Get out of there, bud. I'll let you go. Don't worry about it. Now, that is actually a pretty good fish. All right. <laughs> That's another nice brook trout. These are big fish for this pond. I usually don't catch that many, but... I guess when you're using worms, you're gonna catch the bigger ones. Nice, all right, well, we'll let you go. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish with a beautiful view on a beautiful day. There he goes. All right, we are gonna fillet our brook trout right here and we're gonna get cooking. We've caught a few fish, now it's time to cook one. So we're just going to do a fillet job on this guy. We're just going to leave the skin on. There we go. Beautiful fillet. Holy cow. That's going to be delicious. Didn't waste much on that fish. Then we'll just cut away those rib bones. I just sharpened this fillet knife, so this is a lot easier. And then we're just gonna leave the pin bones. There are some little pin bones that run right along the center of the fillet. But honestly, I just think it's too much work. I, don't, I really don't care. I'd rather just cook it and then pick through it while I'm eating. And then if you end up swallowing one, they're small enough, it's not really a big deal. So I just make sure to get the rib bones and just kind of go from there. Start with some butter, get that melting down. I think we can fit both of them in there. That was not a bad sized fish for this pond, so. Turn that heat down a little bit. I don't want them to curl. I'd rather it's nice and slow cook them. And then for seasoning, we have some mustard green spice blend. Really delicious. So we're just gonna put a little bit on these guys. All right. And we'll just let them cook.
All right, we'll go ahead and give them a flip here. They're just about done. Oh yeah, look at that. Crispy skin. I'm not gonna eat the skin, but nice and crispy. In fact, we'll just go ahead and take it off here. Should just peel right off. Yep. And there we go. They are all done, cooked perfectly. It smells amazing. Let's go ahead and try a piece while it's still hot. Drag it through some of that butter. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Caught fresh from the lake 15 minutes ago. Just fried up in butter with a little mustard spice. Mm. That is honestly amazing. I'm not kidding. I think this right here might be one of my favorite spices I've ever used on fish. It's got ground mustard, garlic, onion powder, salt, oregano, thyme, and parsley, and a little butter. Man, dude, these mosquitoes are getting worse. Jeez. Since it was such a wet winter, got tons of snow, and it's been raining quite a bit, and that's just causing the mosquitoes to go crazy. I just heard something over there. I don't see anybody. Feels like someone's watching me. I am in the middle of the forest. Well, there might be something watching me. Anyway, I think we're okay. I just heard something crashing through the trees over there. <laughs> I don't know. You never know out here. I'm going to finish this up real quick. It is good, man. That's some of the best fish I've... It's been a minute since I've just fried them in butter. Well, I did fry them in butter over the fire, but that was in tin foil. This is delicious, man. All right, folks, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed me catching those big tiger trout at the beginning of this video. It was a long day, got about a thousand bug bites. I got burnt to a crisp, but it was worth it for those fish. And ending it off with some brook trout and cooking one up in some butter. Doesn't get any better than that. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. You wanna see more brook trout, more tiger trout, more cutthroat, just let me know. I wanna catch some more tiger trout, so hopefully you guys are down for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.